Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be telling you how you can prepare for this year's Halloween update in Adopt Me. So the Halloween update in Adopt Me is just around the corner. We now have less than a week until the update is going to go live. So I thought I would make a video telling you guys how you can prepare for this update. I'm going to be giving you some tips on how you can prepare. So then you can be prepared for this update and you can make the most of this update when it does come out in game. We're also going to be having a look at a couple of sneak peeks that I've found and some teasers of this brand new update and all I can say is it looks so so cool and definitely very spooky. I have back on today my witch's hat as you can see. I don't have my full Halloween outfit on right now but it will be coming very soon but as I always say before we begin today's video if you haven't already make sure you like this video so then I know to make more just like this one and also hit the subscribe button so then you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. But now let's get on to this year's Halloween update. All I can say is from what I've seen so far I'm very very excited. So before we get into the tips let's quickly have a look at a couple sneak peeks that I found and I think you guys are going to be very excited to see. So obviously very briefly I will go through the first sneak peek as I have already showed this on my channel but that is obviously the sneak peek that I showed in my video confirming the Halloween update which is this pumpkin here on the weather map which now says it's seven days when I'm recording this it is a week until the update which is super exciting but we have already seen that sneak peek we already know about that sneak peek but I do have one more new one to show you today and it is this video here which I came across on Twitter it's also on Adopt Me's YouTube channel and TikTok page as well and it is this video here with some emojis on the top with a house, cobwebs and a witch's emoji and as you can see throughout the video we have an overview, the camera is going in different angles of the map of Adopt Me. It is the main area of the map where I'm standing right now with the nursery, the hospital, the school etc and as you can see it's looking quite different. There's a lot of different spooky things around like spooky trees, pumpkins and lights. Also the world is looking a bit different there's a bit more of a eerie feel to it and the coloring is definitely a lot different too it's foggy it's cloudy it definitely fits the halloween vibe it's looking very spooky and at the end of the video you'll be able to see that the camera then pans over here just across the bridge over here and this is usually where events are held so i'm assuming that this is where the main part of the update is going to be just over here but as you can see the camera then takes takes us to a view of a big big building. I think this is one of the biggest buildings I've seen in Adopt Me so far. It looks so cool and on the gates to the building it says asylum so I'm assuming that this is going to be a haunted asylum. This is probably where the main update is going to be held, where all of the new stuff is going to be. But how cool does this look? I cannot wait to check this out in game for myself. I feel like this year they are really going to outdo themselves with this Halloween update. Everything about it looks looks awesome. I can't wait to check it out. And what do you guys think? I think the asylum building also looks so cool. I was definitely not expecting anything like that, but I'm really happy that they have done this and showed this so far. I think it looks, once again, I'm going to say super cool. But let me know, what do you think about that sneak peek? I definitely think that is showing a big chunk of the update. I mean, we've got a full overview of the map, basically. However, I'm going to now move on to the main part of the video, and I'm going to be giving you some tips on how you can prepare for this year's update so then you can be as prepared as possible you can be feeling as spooky and festive as you possibly can and how you'll be able to make the most out of this update so my first tip is a pretty simple one this is more of just a tip to get you into the spooky spirit and that is to dress up your avatar get into a spooky outfit to prepare for spooky month, get an outfit prepared and planned so then you are all ready and all dressed up for the update. If I head into my dress up, you will see that I have my Halloween outfit saved. I'm all ready to go for next week. I may change it when it does come to the time. But also, this is the perfect opportunity to give yourself an outfit because Adopt Me have just updated their catalogue. They have added so much new stuff. And if you are struggling to find any Halloween things to put on your avatar, then I 
would just recommend searching up Halloween into the boxes of each category and so much stuff will come up as you can see so this is definitely a very useful way to find Halloween accessories to put onto your avatar. So many people in Adopt Me dress up for Halloween so get an outfit ready so then you can join in and be in the spooky spirit as well. Now we're going to move on to a couple of tips. That one was just a small tip but now we're going to move on to a couple of tips that will help you out a lot more when it comes to actually preparing for the update regarding pets, trading, things like that. So the second tip I have is to prepare your inventory and your pets. So when the new Halloween pets do arrive to the game, it may take a while to get the currency that is going to come in game. Usually we get a different currency when there's updates like this, when there's updates around Easter, Halloween and Christmas. Bucks aren't really very useful for these updates. We do get a new currency that we have to collect throughout the event. And obviously a lot of new stuff comes with these events and it may take up time to get the currency and you may not be able to get everything that you want. So what I would do whilst you're waiting for this update to arrive is to prepare some pets ready in your inventory that you're willing to trade away for the new pets. If you have any spare pets that you are not going to use or you have pets that you're happy to trade for something else then I would recommend favoriting them in your inventory, change their names to trading maybe as well so then you can keep track of the ones that you want to trade away for all of the new Halloween pets pets or items. This way it will make it so much easier to get the pets and everything that you want when the update does come out along with of course earning your own currency and doing it all yourself but especially if you want to work on making neons and things like that then you definitely may need a little bit of a helping hand and trading can definitely help you with that. So before the update does arrive get some pets together, get some things together that you are willing to trade away and then when the update does arrive you can trade away some stuff for all of the new items and pets. So my next tip and my final tip for today's video is to save some bucks. This one is definitely very very helpful. I use this tip every time when I'm preparing for a new update in Adopt Me, especially the big ones like this Halloween update. So I'm not going to go into too much depth with this tip on how you can make bucks as such because I have made a video in the past on how you can make bucks fast in Adopt Me. So if you would like to watch that video after this one I will leave a card at the top of the screen and obviously the main currency in the Halloween update is not going to be bucks it's going to be another currency such as candy currency however saving bucks for some of the new stuff will definitely help you so spending some time saving up your bucks before the update can definitely be very useful for example there may be some new Halloween furniture that will come out during this update and you may want to buy it especially if if you're a builder you may want to build a Halloween house or you may just want to add a spooky touch to your home but obviously you're not going to want to spend all of your time saving up bucks you're going to want to spend your time getting all of the new Halloween items so if you are still wanting to get these new stuff that will be bucks you will have bucks saved aside ready and you won't have to spend too much time working on getting them so just by spending the next few days preparing for the Halloween update save some bucks aside keep saving your bucks and that means you will have some aside just in case you need any when the update comes out. But that is where I'm going to be wrapping up today's video. I really hope that you did enjoy it. I hope these few tips will help you in preparation for the new update. It is only going to be a few days so get yourselves all prepared, get ready so then you can make the most of this update when it does arrive in game. I can't wait for this new update to come out. I'll be making so many videos on it, most likely doing a few giveaways and like streams as well so make sure you are keeping an eye on the channel because I'll be posting as much new content as I can but let me know in the comments what are you most excited for for this update what are you hoping that Adopt Me will add into the game what would you like to see and let me know too do you have any more tips on how you do prepare for these updates in game I would love to hear them in the comment section but thank you all so much for watching today's video I really hope that you did enjoy it I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. Bye!